friends, and welcome to your daily devotional for Wednesday, June 24th, 2020. Happy Hump Day. It is good to be with you. Today, as we prepare to be in God's Word and in prayer, I invite you to pay attention to what you are feeling. What are the emotions that have risen up this day? What is your mind thinking about? I invite you to be mindful of what you are feeling and try as best you can to set that aside for just a few moments while we prepare to be in God's presence. We begin today by turning to Psalm 86, verses 11 through 17. And this reading and all of the readings come from the Common English Bible translation. Listen now for God's word to us. Teach me your way, Lord, so that I can walk in your truth. Make my heart focused only on honoring your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord, my God, with all my heart. And I will glorify your name forever because your faithful love toward me is awesome. And because you've rescued my life from the lowest part of hell. The arrogant rise up against me, God. A gang of violent people want me dead. They don't give a thought for you. But you, my Lord, are a God of compassion and mercy. You are very patient and full of faithful love. Come back to me. Have mercy on me. Give your servant your strength. Save this child of your servant. Show me a sign of your goodness so that those who hate me will see it and be put to shame. Show a sign that you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Let us pray. Grant us such grace that we may work your will and speak your words and walk before your face, profound and calm like waters deep and still. Grant us such grace. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 42, verses 18 through 22. Listen for God's word. The Lord of heavenly forces, the God of Israel proclaims, just as my fierce anger was poured out on the people of Jerusalem, so it will be poured out on you if you go back to Egypt. You will become an object of cursing, scorn, shock, and disgrace. And you will never see this place again. You who survived from Judah, the Lord has told you, don't go to Egypt. Know without a doubt that I have warned you this day. You are putting your lives at risk by sending me to the Lord your God, saying, Pray for us to the Lord our God. Tell us everything the Lord our God says and will do it. Today I have told you, but you still haven't obeyed all that the Lord your God has sent me to tell you. So know without a doubt that you will die by war, famine, and disease in the place you yearn to go and live. Through Jeremiah, God gives a pretty clear and dire warning here to the people. Have you ever received a warning that you didn't heed? What was the outcome? Our New Testament reading today comes from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 10, verses 5 through 23. Listen again for God's word. Jesus sent these twelve out and commanded them, Don't go among the Gentiles or into a Samaritan city. Go instead to the lost sheep, the people of Israel. As you go, make this announcement. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those with skin diseases, and throw out demons. You received without having to pay, 
Therefore, give without demanding payment. Workers deserve to be fed, so don't gather gold or silver or copper coins for your money belts to take on your trips. Don't take a backpack for the road or two shirts or sandals or a walking stick. Whatever city or village you go into, find somebody in it who is worthy and stay there until you go on your way. When you go into a house, say, peace. If the house is worthy, give it your blessing of peace. But if the house isn't worthy, take back your blessing. If anyone refuses to welcome you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet and leave that house or city. I assure you that it will be more bearable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on Judgment Day than it will be for that city. Look, I'm sending you as sheep among wolves. Therefore be wise as snakes and innocent as doves. Watch out for people because they will hand you over to councils and they will beat you in their synagogues. They will haul you in front of governors and even kings because of me so that you may give your testimony to them and to the Gentiles. Whenever they hand you over, don't worry about how to speak or what you will say because what you can say will be given to you at that moment. You aren't doing the talking, but the spirit of my father is doing the talking for you. Brothers and sisters will hand each other over to be executed. A father will turn his child in. Children will defy their parents and have them executed. Everyone will hate you on account of my name, but whoever stands firm until the end will be saved. Whenever they harass you in one city, escape to the next, because I assure you that you will not go through all of the cities of Israel before the human one comes. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Jesus says here that if the disciples find themselves unwelcome in a place, they are to dust off and move on. What things do you need to move on from today? Let us pray. Grant to us all, Lord Jesus, that in the soul's long winters we may wait patiently, grow imperceptibly in the rhythms and seasons of your love, and so enter into your peace. Give us grace to wait patiently, without doubt, without impatience, without anxiety, for the morning of resurrection. May every little death in life teach us how to die the last death that is the beginning of true life. Be our life to us on earth, Lord Jesus, and our everlasting life. Amen. Friends, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace this day. Go in peace. Stay healthy. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.